Board of Supervisors in order, and we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay, I would like to open the floor to public comment. Over here in the front row. Anybody in the front row? I'd like to address Mike if I could. I've got a 22-foot uh, pipe out there I'd like to sell you people because it's been four months since we had three days to get the pipe. And we've got the pipe and had it sitting there. I had to move it out of my yard so I could mow it. They worked up to my property and then ceased. And uh, if you're not going to do anything, then would you purchase the pipe from me? They're going to do it, John. Uh, I can't wait till fall. First. Well, it won't be fall. They're still doing stuff out here yet. And I think trying said, to unplug a pipe yeah. right now while the whole I, road went to pipe. I, was just yeah. Yeah. I think he said I by the end it. of next week they're going to try and get back out. And and I, I'm not saying it's your fault. I understand yeah. that you guys are slow. I know, but we'll, we'll get in there. The is pretty rough, yeah. too. We'll, we'll get, it'll get in there. And they're getting. That, she said by the end of next week, he said. so. Then I have another question. Not a question. Okay. I've talked to quite a few people, Russell City, out where I'm at, some of the farmers. <clears throat> We're kind of excited about the money being spent to the attorney for nothing. They have done nothing for us whatsoever. Mm. I don't know what he's doing, but he's not representing the township. And I, I'm just telling you what the people feel. Okay. They feel that uh, they're being used unjustly, that the money is going for nothing. Okay. Upset. All right. Second row. Uh, I thank you for the gravel, but it isn't enough. I need some more in there in front of the mailbox. All right. We'll tell Tom. Kevin? I'd like if you guys could go down and take a look. Give, give me your opinion. But in my driveway, I got that manhole cover right down from my driveway. It's sticking up. And all the dirt runs into that, and then it runs right into my ditch, and I keep on digging it out, and it's a mess. And I was wondering if I could put a pipe and just extend it down to that and fill it in. If you guys yeah. think I, I, I just go down and look at it and yeah. get back. Can you get back to me the next yeah. before next May? Well, let me know what you think. I'll call it on in the morning, have them right. stop and look at it, and see what okay. we can do there. Anybody on the back? Brian? Yeah, I got one. I'd, I'd like to see your road crew leader, or whatever he is, come give a report at the meetings to let us know what's going on. Well, we have to pay him. If he comes to the meeting, we have to pay him. Yeah, Kim, if he comes, Kim always did if he comes to the meeting, he has to get paid. Did Kim get paid? Huh? No. That's why we stopped him. Yeah. I told Kim, I said, if you come and you participate, you, you know, by law, we got to pay you. So he well, quit coming. I think it'd be worth the money to pay him. Have him come up here and tell us what he's doing. We do the same thing for the water authority with the sewer plant operator because he's got to let us know what's going on. If he comes to the meeting, he gets paid to go to the meeting. That's the way we can keep on top of what's going on. Well, That'd be a good idea. We'll, we'll take that under an advisement. Oh. Uh, are you guys actually the roadmaster now? I forget how it goes. Like the, the step down of authority. So you guys brief Tom, or does he come up with an agenda what he thinks he should do? Then you guys go over with it and okay it? Normally that's what happens. Unless some emergency comes up or something. I can't hear you. Unless an emergency comes up, but. Oh, sorry, I was going to say it's working. Anybody over here? Sally? Um. Thank you, Amy, for coming. I know you know know the reason. Um, due to what was his name, Chuck Abraham's uh, poor judgment, 
he won't be here anymore, but he's moving away. That truck's a good guy. I like truck. Yeah, well, this isn't a time to beat somebody down the ground. No, I'm just saying that's why he's no longer here. I'm talking. Kevin, Kevin, please don't interrupt her. So thank you, Amy. Also, I want to thank Lee. I was hoping you'd be here, but I want to thank him publicly um, for coming down to the house and making things right with Mike and I, and everything's good. And I want to commend uh, Bimsy for coming down. I come home one night, and I'm like, what are you doing here? And he said, I come down to bitch. <laughs> but he, he wasn't complaining. He just wanted to talk to Mike, and he needed some help. And it was that simple. Just He set the tone. It was simple. He just asked for some help, like you just did, Kevin. And It'll get done. Like you did with Chuck Abrams just now. Nice guy. Yeah, he's pretty biased, but okay. I'm done. Thank you. Anybody else? <coughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. That was very good. I appreciate that. Thank you. Tim, Jody. It hadn't been for a man that never okay, public comment is over. Tell him later to do that. That would have never I need a motion to approve the June and the special meeting minutes and to accept the June Treasury report and balance sheet. I'll make a motion. I'll second it. <coughs> we get a notice. <coughs> Is that the letter that we got? Yeah. Yep. Yep. I don't have a copy of that. Um, we got a notice from. Got a notice from Seneca Resources. Sorry, I forgot because I, I was going to. I'm sorry. Actually, we're here. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. Got a notice from Seneca Resources, pre-activity water sampling for Seneca Resources wells, and the letters to notify that they intend to. Begin work in Highland Township, Elk County, to convert one of our conventional gas wells to a Class 2D injection well in the near future. Anybody would like a copy of it? Actually, I put, if anybody wants to look at it first, I put a copy of it on the bulletin board over there. It's right, see where it says the law that they, it's right in front of it. And if anybody wants a copy, just let me know. Okay, got a report from. DEP, and it is for earth disturbance for the work that's being done down on 948, 66 intersection. Anybody would like a copy that's here? Notice from PennDOT. By the way, at that intersection, when I come up tonight, the, all the lanes are open. Awesome. They were up painting the lines. They've got all the lanes open on the road. With their, that's great. They're going to put the guardrails. Yes, sir. Got a notice from D, the PennDOT about some of the new decorative light poles that there's some issues with them and that you should contact the manufacturer. Yeah, I don't believe we have any of those. Hey, got a letter from McGee Risk Control and it was the insurance company came up and inspected the playground and actually everything that they have recommended has been done. If anybody would like a copy of that, it's here. Got a letter from the Board of Directors of the Allegheny Forest Alliance. And from my understanding from what I read, we received $79,231 in forest service receipts and we agreed to a 1% resolution supporting their effort. So the total would be $792. And I don't we, think we ever gave them any money before. We did, did, I think, but we only gave them like $150. I don't, yeah. think, we ever gave I don't think we ever gave them the $792. No. I think we just gave 150 and they always seem happy with that. So. so we'll make a motion, we give them $150. I'll second it. And we have the Elk County Commissioner's meeting minutes. We have well permit renewals from Shell in Highland Township. And I believe that would be the one down on 948 going towards Sheffield. Uh, Curtis Oil in Howe Township. Blackhawk Energy in Wetmore Township. Penn Hills Resources in Wetmore Township. And... That was the one thing. I don't, I don't know. SV ABS interest in Wetmore Township. 
And then... Oh, well that can go down in the in when we talk about new business. Okay. That's just... That'll be new business. Okay, moving on to committee reports. Uh, Marcia? We had the car show, and for the considering the weather, we did good. I mean, it poured, but we had about 21 cars and four or five bikes showed up. Everybody enjoyed themselves, so I was very grateful. And um, right now, because I had other gift certificates that I didn't use, I'm going to do a calendar in August. And every day there would be a winner, and there was like Safari Land and the Pittsburgh Zoo and all kinds of stuff. Just not selling, selling tickets. Hmm? Yeah. Selling, yeah. Yeah, okay. it would be a calendar one. So I'll be yeah. going around selling that. So. Okay, nice. this is Marsha's financial report. And I'd like to thank you for using good judgment on not letting them drive out onto the ball field when it was wet. Thank you. Yeah, we'll rip it all up. Okay, anything else? Mm, thanks for the extra quarter potty. Mm. Okay. Do you get um, charged a whole month for that quarter potty? Or just no, for two but days? yeah. Okay. And they, then it just charged to pick up and deliver outside. outside. Okay. Um, the fire department had some prior commitments, so they, Bill did come up and give us a financial report. The road department, there's a list of everything that's been done in the last month. And actually, his inspection for the playground and everything that's been corrected. Yep. And moving on to old business, report an update on the misprint of the special meeting. Uh, yeah, I called them after we had that meeting the day next day, and they I uh, you know, pointed that out to him. I said just to make sure that there's something in there that says that there was no special meeting. <laughs> so they said they'd take care of it. Okay, discuss and make a motion to use the county aid. I don't know how much are we getting? Uh, 7000 And Tom uh, says that he has uh, <coughs> big uh, purchases that he can make, that he needs to make for some of the equipment, like they need new tires for the roller. Um, they wanted to get the bed heater for the one dump truck. Um, what was the other thing? Brushes for the mm -hmm. tractor. Oh, yeah, brushes for the tractor. And there's something else. Um, mm -hmm. so, chains for something. Chains for the back hill. Yeah, there we are. And so that would cover the 7,000, if you guys were okay with it. Well, yeah. I think it's all equipment. Stuff we need. I think it's all equipment. Well, so he doesn't slide into the building or through the garage door one of these times. I run back Specifically in the winter time. And, uh. Because we did we did slide into the garage door once this year already. You getting a set for the, for the huh? steers or what? what, do you, what do you yeah, mean? just one set beyond set the front. The steers? Yep. Yeah. Well, I make a motion. That we do all use the county aid to purchase. A that they, we, we, we use the county aid money to pay for the tires and the chains and the brushes and the bed. Yep. I'll, I'll second, second that. I'll vote yes. Okay, new business. Report and discuss receipt of the Act 13 funds. And I don't have anything on that. Just I know, because uh, they don't give us anything. They just send us a check. Well, what we got was 34000 Jeez, I wrote it down. I didn't put it in my notes. 34000 Let me just grab it here, because I don't make sure that I got the number right. 34000 That's less than we've ever gotten. Least amount of money. Should go up the next couple of years. Hmm? Should, should go, go up, up the next couple of years because oh. you're planning on moving out thousand. That's once you're done out the plan on. Okay. Thirty-four thousand four hundred and seventy-eight dollars and fifty-five cents. What are you saying? Thirty-four thousand. Yep. And I guess we've talked before about using that money to put a new roof on this building. Yeah, we, that's what we talked about. And I don't. Th I think we need that to pay our road crew and stuff for. 
No, we can't use that 13 money to pay the recruit. Okay, can't use it for No. Well, no. It has to go towards a pro. It can go towards a project. Yeah, we, can't we, go could, buy, we could buy uh, anti skid with it, too, if we yes. need it. Yes, we could. Yeah, and we don't have any money to do anything well, else. Well, yeah, we budgeted our county aid. We budgeted our liquid fuels money for that already. Okay. Yeah. So I, I'll make a motion that we advertise for bids to put a roof on the, on this building. With that, we need to do it. Yeah, we need to do it. Yeah, we're going to yeah, we're gonna have to make some specifications up for it, what you want. Yeah. Yeah. And I have uh -huh. a and I have a request too. Um, can I shut this door, please? Because it's acting. Yeah, I sure. Can barely, that's barely fine. Hear yep. you guys. I'm sorry. I I just trying to get so much stuff in here. It doesn't sound like that's working. I don't know. That's that's. I don't know. I don't know. Um, we when we got that tank pulled out, um, I called PennDOT to see if we were allowed to use that, uh, or if we allowed to use liquid fuels funds to uh, pay for that, and he said no. And we didn't budget for it, and so I was going to ask if we could use Act 13 money for that because we could use it for it would fall under infrastructure, and it would because I don't know <coughs> where we would because it's four thousand almost forty two hundred dollars, so if we could use uh, a little bit of the Act 13 money to pay for that. That would save me a lot of. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good move. We, we had to do the tanks. Yeah, yeah. we had no choice. No, we had no choice. Like, yeah, and, and we can also always come up with some kind of stuff up there and advertise for a roof and see what yeah. it costs. Maybe yeah. we don't have enough money to do it anyhow. Yeah, we might not. No, that's yeah. Okay. yeah. So that's why we have to get this. Yeah. So I'll second your motion to advertise for a new, new roof, and then we'll digest it once we get the yeah. bid and see what it is. And I'll okay. make a motion gonna, that we pay for the fuel tank. Okay. Who's going to go over it for the standard of what you want for the bid? What? I, are you going to go over it on the, for the, the standard of what you want written up tank. for the I'll bid so people can bid on it so it's I'll, an even playing field of, I'll help. of a certain standards of what you want? I'll help. So you're gonna drop a set of specs. Well, I'll drop set something. Yeah, a yeah, standard set of specs for what we want to do. We'll have to Certain discuss it. Or huh? Gauge of steel. And yeah, yeah. Yada yada. Okay. Tear the old roof off, put the new roof on. We got to go through the whole procedure. Yeah. Okay. What do you guys do with that tank anyway? All that it, uh, it was scrapped. Scrap yard. Scrapped there was nothing that could actually be done because there had to be a name three foot down? hole cut in it. Because it's a double walled tank and the diodes in it said that there was a leak in it. There was liquid between the two walls. Oh. So it couldn't be used anyplace else. The EP requested that there had to be a three foot hole cut in it and it had to be disposed of. At least you so, got scrapped. I think the only um, thing he's waiting on is something to pick it up and put it in the truck. Well, no, it's out there. Oh, it's, it's out there. That is Highland Yard oh, okay. out there. All right. I, I didn't gonna, know whether he got it out there or not. He's going to cut it up and then weigh it. <coughs> And okay. then whatever it's worth, probably about 70 bucks of junk, but <laughs> if that. <coughs> okay, discuss advertising in the Elk County Association booklet. Um, I Every year we um, have our uh, Elk County Convention and we ask um, townships if they want to put an advertisement in our booklet and we usually do one every year if you guys want to do one or don't want to do one that's fine I mean and it depends on what size you want a quarter page is twenty dollars half page is thirty five and full page is sixty but there's really no reason to have a full we've page been buying a half page in previous years so yeah. yeah I'll make a motion we buy a half a page I'll second it I'll vote yes We have to discuss compensation for attending the Elk County Convention. Um, that would be if anybody that wants to attend um, before, way before, but not last year. We had the uh, township had paid for um, meals and that, but, but being that it's only ten bucks last year and it's only ten bucks this year, everybody just paid their own way. Uh, that's so fun. that's is that yeah. ten bucks a person. Yeah, ten bucks a person. That's all it is. And uh, I got this too. This, um, because we're having, there's going to be someone there from the, uh, uh, um, the PA Rural Water Authority, and we're going to have a, uh, th there's going to be buses to go out uh, to, um, they're building a bridge in Jonas Township, and so if you want to invite road crew, if you want to invite people from <coughs> um, 
our water authority, uh, recreation association, you know, because there might be something there of interest to them. I have registration forms, and if anybody wants to attend, just let me know, and I'll give you a registration form. Actually, if I can read this a yeah, second. Yeah, sure. The second paragraph in this letter says, we have sent individual invitations to township officials, but we would like our board, your board to extend the invitation to your road crew workers, committee members, and other board members such as municipal and recreation. We welcome everybody to bring their families, including grandchildren, to share the day with us. It will be taking place on Wednesday, August 16th at 1 p.m. So, yeah, anybody, as, any of you want to go? There are a couple of water authority members here. You guys are invited, Marsha. Yeah, if everybody wants to come, you know, just come to me and I got a registration form, and that's all you need. And Christy ten said bucks, it's ten bucks a person. That's ten dollars a person. We were there last year, and that's really a nice it's, park. It is. I mean, there's a lot of things for people to do out there's there. There's a swimming hall. Stuff. There's canoes. There's yeah. water boats. There's. I mean, it's it could be a nice afternoon for somebody's there's grandchildren. There's a hiking trail. You can be, I mean, kids can fish. Yeah, it's really nice back there. Okay, the last thing under new business, um, Tom has, okay. has told us that there has been somebody using our dumpster. And, and he said it's been dumped quite a few times this year, way more than normal. The only way I know to stop it is to put a camera up. Throw a trail cam up. That's, that's the put only way. Put a trail cam up. Launch chain it. Hmm? Launch chain it. Cheaper than a trail cam. Chain it shut. Chain it, chain it, township key. people want to use it, to unlock it and do it. But what if there's, what if nobody's here and what if Marcia's having a, a thing and she can't get in? I don't know. But you're no one on camera. Oh no, but like, but like when yeah. the, 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 the road crew guy yeah, and the mower comes and he clears the trash and, 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 Jody, and Jody always does, she'll clean up so along the road right and she comes and throws the garbage in there. That's up to you guys, I don't care. But we gotta do something uh, because if we gotta cook. In my opinion, I mean, I, I would like to see a, a camera on this side of the building, Security and a camera on camera, that side of the building. I mean, it would save us from having anybody destroy well, anything, anybody come up here and do anything wrong. It'll cost you a few bucks a month to do that, but that security company won't it? Well, actually, when he told me about that, I went and looked at got some prices, and Comcast will actually do it for us. They'll bundle it right into our 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 Comcast bundle, and it'd be like an extra hundred dollars a month. Hundred dollars a month. Yeah. Oh my God! You buy a lot for ten. Well, yeah, but we budgeted. We budgeted for in our in our communication uh, line item. We budgeted. It, it can easily cover it. Well, we we can save that money. We have to have a dumpster. Well, not only the dumpster. I was thinking, well, you got to do that. You have a security system out here and there too, and that security camera runs twenty four seven. Yeah, but you're looking at that's hundred bucks a month. I mean, do the math. It's a hundred bucks a month. It's twelve hundred dollars a year. Buy a ten dollar lot. Have the inner circle of trust with Marsha. A couple other people. What do you think, Mike? Well, I think we really could use them um, to protect everything over there. Uh, anybody's going to do anything to your place over there, it'll be covered. Uh, it's a different day and age. It is. Um, it's not people from here doing it, it's people from out of town cause a lot of vandalism. Maybe we've been lucky. Is it, so is it possible that could lower our liability for... It, yeah, it could lower our, li it could lower our liability insurance also. Yeah. A lot of you money. might have to check with the insurance. I mean, the cameras are great. Oh, I, I, I can use that. Why don't we I put a gate up? Because of curfew, then we should have this place shut down. Then you have to pay someone to... It we could save money. I say, done. Uh, if not, still cheaper long. to pay Tom an hour overtime and there's a hundred bucks a month or half hour a month. Lock That's a lot of money, hundred dollars a month. Kevin had a good idea, I think. If we can cut the liability, I think if you it, can. That's a lot I of can't money. can't see that it wouldn't. I don't see that it wouldn't because if nothing else, say somebody has somebody files a claim over there, say, oh my <laughs> kid. My kids, you know, did this or that over there. Yeah, you know, I'm suing you. you. If you have video footage of what actually happened, I, you, I it might, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody says, well, I'm suing you because I, fell, I was skating over there and I fell off. Goddamn bear. You know what I mean? Or, you know, we don't know if that's picture. actually happened. We have to go by their word. You could table this and find out. And uh, do some research. I can't see how it wouldn't. Because sure. I think they even said. Let's do a little research on this. I can't see how it wouldn't. See what, you know, give us some thought about it. I think it would. Is this something that will get 
trail cam, cam give it a thought. Or we, we won't ever hear about it. The next thing you know, you're paying $100 a month. Oh, well, we can't do it without doing it at a public meeting. It has to be voted on. It has to be voted on. At a meeting. Yeah, at a meeting. Yeah, let's, let's research this thing in our minds through the next month or so. Well, let's check the insurance it, it make, If mm -hmm. we can save that much insurance, insurance then we're out, not out of done. Christy, what? make sure it gets on the agenda, yeah, please. Yep. please. What, are they throwing beer bottles in there? Is that what it is, kids? <laughs> well, not just beer bottles, it's, actually. It's hustle, there was, it's hustle trash. Garbage. There was a whole carpet. Trash. A carpet? A whole yeah. carpet that was cut into like four-foot yeah. chunks and rolled up and duct-taped. That, that somebody put in there. That didn't cost twelve hundred dollars to dispose of. I mean, it's that's not the point. Household garbage point. where somebody's bringing you know, bags of household garbage, oh. and it's I belong. <laughs> I belong to PA Snow Seekers out in Highland, and they have the same problem with it out there. And and to stop it, they put cameras up. You put a dummy camera. Up. I don't. Uh, cameras might be real or not, mm -hmm. but I say it's a dummy camera. I mean, I like you and everything else. Dummy cameras five bucks. Why don't you bring the dumpster up where it's underneath the street light? Yeah, yeah, dummy camera no more because we just mentioned it in a meeting. Uh huh? Why? There's nobody comes and listens to the meetings. <laughs> well, yeah, the but dumps it, are just for the garbage in the township. In the fire hall. Don't you guys use it for the fire hall too? No, the no. fire hall has their own dumpster. The fire hall has their own. I remember them because they were having trouble. Yeah, and they were having trouble with theirs too. They were they having trouble with theirs and they put a camera up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they put a camera up down there, didn't they? Yeah. Yes. Well, you yeah, can look at it another picture. way, too. If they don't have a chance to put it in your dumpster, we're liable to have it in Highland Township Woods. So, I mean, look at it both ways, people. Yeah. All right, All so right, we'll, we'll do table that and do we'll some research, research have Christy contact the insurance yeah. company. See what we can do with it. Okay, I make a motion to review the bills and a motion to accept the bills as paid. And to adjourn the meeting. I'll second it. Uh, Your machine isn't bad, but it's still not bad. I know. I don't know what to do with it. I can't even tell what's on. I wonder if Comcast has anything for that to project your voice. They might.